Hello, how's everybody doing today? Thanks for joining, and let's review a few landscape composition rules and dive deeper into the rule of simplicity. First, we need to hike to a local waterfall to use as an example for our discussion on compositions. There was an easier way to get to the waterfall itself, but of course we chose to explore the trails and do some off-trail hiking to add to today's outdoor experience on the way to the falls. And unfortunately, I inadvertently destroyed my vlogging camera while at the waterfalls, so I'll be doing some voiceover on most of this video. In most landscape and waterfall photography, you'll have many choices for compositions. Your choices will include many factors such as the location elements, your mood, and of course your artistic intent. However, I encourage you to always keep in mind and consider the quote-unquote rules for composition to help you with your compositions. As I stated in a previous video, I find that there are three rules that are critical and in basic terms, they are flow, balance, and simplicity. Flow is how you draw the viewer's eyes into or through the image to the subject. Balance is trying to keep equal visual weight within the image. This also will help a bit with flow. And then finally, simplicity, only include what adds visual interest to the image in your subject and eliminate distractions. Of course, the way that you implement these rules is dependent on your artistic intent, and naturally there are multiple alternatives. I encourage you to explore all of these artistically. At this location, I can see many composition, but let's just talk about a few as examples and why you might choose one over the other and how they fare with the critical rules, while highlighting the rule of simplicity. Let's first look at this panorama. In this scene, there's the waterfall itself, consisting of a few streams of water, and we also have this unique and very beautiful rock structure with overhanging sandstone cliffs in somewhat of a bowl formation. These formations may add visual interest to any image. The same can be said for the rocks in the foreground. So this panorama, made up of seven images stitched together, captured it as one image and shows the waterfall and rock formations as a whole as the subject. It is an immersive image. The waterfall itself may be diminished a bit, and some may think that the foreground is a bit distracting as well. This image is best viewed on large format, such as a computer screen, otherwise the visual interest may be lost. For example, viewing this on a smartphone in the image will not be as appealing. If you are after an Instagram image, this may not be the one that you would choose. However, if you want a large print for your wall that will immerse the viewer into the scene, this one may work. Next, we look at a single image and eliminate some of the environment from the rest of the image. 
and emphasize the waterfall itself a little bit more. Here we are actually redefining the subject further. We are no longer defining the subject as the entire cliff face, but in fact reducing that to a smaller amount, to a smaller degree, uh, with more focus on the waterfall. And then we zoom in for a single image and completely eliminate the foreground clutter, except for one rock for some foreground interest. But keep the pool and a bit of the surrounding rock face. Again, this is further redefining what the subject of the image is. Next, I move to a different perspective to show off the cliff edge above the waterfall while keeping some foreground interest and include the rock face. Once again, subject is being redefined. And finally, from that same perspective, I give almost all attention to the falls themselves as the subject while keeping some of the pool in the foreground. This eliminates any of the rock face or the bowl formation as the subject of the image. In all these cases, I believe that my own imposed rules of flow and balance are followed. However, the rule of simplicity is subjective here. In all cases, visual distractions such as random limbs on the edges of the frame are eliminated. You may feel the last image is the simplest, and I would agree if your artistic intent is to define the waterfall itself as the subject. But you could also make a claim that the panorama really captures the scene as simply as possible. If your artistic intent was to capture the subject as the falls and the structure and to create a more immersive image. How you will display these images and how the viewer will view them is a big factor for your chosen composition and your definition of simplicity. This is another important aspect of your artistic intent. If your intent is to display on Instagram, the last two images may be your best choice.